I know that there are people who are on my mother's side of the relatives who see my content, or at least they have in the past. Do I know whether or not they're seeing it now? I have no idea. And I know for a fact that they have chosen to believe her. And I say chosen because I also know for a fact, particularly where my aunts are concerned, that they knew that she was a problem at a minimum. They knew that she was doing drugs and exposing her children to drugs. And they also knew that she was neglecting her children at a minimum. And when I stood up and I said, I'm not doing this anymore. And I went no contact, not just with her, but subsequently my grandfather and then my grandmother was a part of that. Everybody came at me and their belief system has not changed. And I place air quotes around that because of the fact that they know the truth. They just don't want anything to break their perfect family facade. And so if they stand with me, they have to admit that there's dysfunction within our family and that there's a major abuser within our family. I don't understand why that's so bad. I don't understand why you wouldn't go, you know what, we had this issue in our family and this is how we chose to deal with it instead of allowing it to go on. I will never be able to wrap my head around why it's more important for there to be this presentation of something that doesn't actually exist. And it's heartbreaking. And it's the reason why the dysfunction and the abuse continues to go on for generations. Because nobody is kicked off the island that actually should be kicked off the island. Only the victims, only those of us who stand up and start speaking the truth. So my brother, in reference to social media, my brother who grew up in the same household as I did, my brother who was also abused by my mother, Yes, he's the golden child, but there were times he was also the scapegoat child. He was set up for sabotage. My mother knew that he was doing drugs, like he was smoking pot and he was taking pills and he was doing all those things that, you know, self-medicate that um, allowed him to find an escape from her. I was running away physically. He was running away through self-medicating. So if you have a child that you know that is doing this, do you like, you know, stock hash in your freezer? Do you keep pot, you know, in your drawer? Do you keep a crystal ashtray filled with uppers and downers so that your child can take those things if you really want to make sure that they're getting clean? He wasn't addicted, but that they're not doing drugs? No. But what she cared to do was make him tank so that she could look like the victim of him as well. So there was that dynamic between the two of them, but ultimately he was her golden child because he was the keeper of her secrets and her protector. He was parentified from her. He was like a pseudo spouse to her many times. So there were a lot of moving pieces in that. Anyway, I did a news interview when I first published my book on um, global news here in Montreal. And in the interview, we were talking about the fact that my brother used to steal those drugs from my mother. And my mother would do this thing where she would come to me and say, you know, did your brother take the drugs? And I would just play a, I don't know, because I'm not throwing him under the bus. And then she would go to him and say, Marty told me that you did it. She, she came and told me as if she wouldn't have noticed the things missing. So she was dividing us. And then of course he would come to me and say, did you tell? And I would say no. And he'd say, you're a liar in keeping with the family reputation that I've had since I was four years old. So here I am doing this interview talking about this. And my brother posts on my Facebook when I posted the interview, I think he must have thought that the interview was being posted by Global News, not me. I don't think he realized how Facebook worked at that time and that I would see his, his post or maybe he wanted me to, but I believe that he didn't want the interaction with me. And he said on the post, does she ever tell the truth in reference to me? The sister who grew up in the same house as him. And what he was talking about, because we did message a little bit after that, which didn't go well, it didn't go anywhere because he belongs to her, um, was that he's like, I never did drugs with our mother. And I'm like, I've never said you did drugs with our mother. I said, you stole drugs from our mother and you know that's true. And he didn't deny that. And he said something like, 
I've read excerpts of your book and you're not telling the truth anywhere. And I'm like, well, maybe you should read it in its entirety instead of out of context. But you know, that's not going to happen. Maybe he has now, but nothing's going to change. And even if it did all these years later, I have been so betrayed by my entire group of relatives on my mother's side of the family that I can't see possibly being able to form a relationship that would have any value for me. And as a side note, my younger cousin, he's a little bit over a year younger than I am. I ran into him in the streets about a decade ago or so, and he asked me why I ran away from home. Why ask if you've decided I'm a liar? I don't know, because when I told him, because, you know, my mother was abusing me, she's the best aunt, she's so much fun, like, I don't get it, you know, he totally consumed the Kool-Aid, and I don't blame him for that. He was raised in that just like I was, and he had a buffer. My mother lived in Florida, he lives in Canada, he saw her a couple of weeks out of the year, of course he's gonna love her. I've never experienced that side of her, Thank goodness I didn't see it. It would have just been another, you know, thing to show me how unlovable I was. It was hard enough to see her be nice to anyone when she was hurting me so much. But to see that with my cousin, I'm glad I never actually witnessed that. And I would imagine that she really turned that on after I ran away from home at 13 years old so that nobody would question who the problem was.